Hey, what's going on guys? Double One Eight Sets Shadow here. So, we have a lot of items that I want to cover today. We're going to dive straight into it with set 12, even fall onslaught. We're still in pre-sale mode right now, and tomorrow is the official release of the set. So we're just going to take a look at the front page and see where things are landing right now. Of course, I would anticipate that there are going to be quite a lot of falls after this, so... Let's just keep that in mind as we go along. So cases right now, we're still looking at 900 base. We've got all of your secret rares at the top, bastions at the top in terms of market price, but already has listings as low as 175. You've got Omnia Gruzo, which is second in line. Market price is a little lower, but it's already at $300. We've got Virelord. Then we've got Magnolia Mask, followed by Orphis Mask. And that ends it for the Secret Rares. But Lord has the highest listing at 400. And it's already been bought for 200. Magnolia Mask has been bought for 100. And Orphis Mask has also been bought for about 100. Let's see what else we've got. So frame rares are ne actually we we'll probably want to keep going a few more pages. All they're mostly frame rares here. We're gonna skip most of those. Mask of Hy Hydragoom. I'm gonna talk a bit about that next. So we'll keep going. The frame rare of Cyber Cut Tool, which is the which is the Hydragoom for Brandgate. That one's fifteen dollars if you want the FR, and thirteen dollars right now if you want the double R. Those should go back down in value. Orphus Mask is the most expensive triple R right now at 16. Then you've got Bastion Accord. Then we have some of these different shield cats that are in the series. And then you've also got the new Sealed Blaze Axe and Sealed Blaze Hammer. Uh, those are supposed to be, I think, one per box now, from what I've heard. Pricing on all that was eight to $12. Omnia Gruso is actually a little cheaper than it, than I would have anticipated, only $5. It's a nice mechanic though, and it is a cool deck. Let's see. Knight of Slush Sins, I don't even know what this one does. I'll have to read it up later. Anything really noted? Uh, Cardinal Principle Opart, 245. Misery Wing Dragon, this was... I think it was intended for Omna Cruz. Oh, that's interesting. The frame rare of Opart and the double rare, they are right around the same value right now. So if you are looking for Orphis, I mean, they should they should drop a bit more once the set comes out, but the frame rare is, I'm wondering about. But I think with two pages, that's a good cover. We've got Green Jeweled Beast Elmdar, which is the cat for Stoichius. I think that's the one sitting at the very back. 245 right now. And then you've also got White Jeweled Beast Synthetica, which is for Brankgate, also kind of sitting around the $250 mark. So the next one I want to discuss is Mask of Hydragoom, which now it has another reprint in set 12 and officially releasing tomorrow. You would have thought that prices would continue to fall on the original set 10 version, but no, the base version for both of these right now is still a $20 card. If you want the promo that comes from the BCS packs, right now that's $27, and there are only four listings of that one right now. And then you've got the FR as well, which has nine listings starting at about 35. So this one has been kind of holding around its high value. Sometimes it's gone a little higher, but not very far. Forefront Knight Tethfall from set 11. I did notice that this sold out a little while ago on the FFR, so I wanted to take a closer look at that. Uh, let's see. Players did buy this around $20. We have two copies left at 18, but after that it's a $35 card. Three listings left overall. I'm not sure what exactly you would play this in at this point, because there aren't too many decks that really capitalize on orders in Cater Sanctuary. I must be missing something on that front. Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion. There we've got... This one is interesting. I noticed that this one had been going up in value and has... If you look here, it has sales at about $7, 
I was looking to pick up some the other day, and then I noticed that it increased in price, and I'm like, why? But it looks like we have listings again that are back around the three, four dollar mark, which is more in line of what I'd expect. But even so, that's only among three sellers right now. So once these three sellers sell out, we're back to a six to seven dollar card. So pay attention if you're looking to build Vermilion, they're going back and forth right now. Then you have the FR of Eternal Thunderbolt, which this one. The curve is steep and looks like it had gone up, but I remember noticing that there were... Okay, so yeah, it has only been selling for about $5 tops, but I do remember the last one time it actually got bought out to the point of about 7 So yeah, when we actually take a look at listings, 227 250 there are only three listings that are below $4 on this FR right now. So same deal, if you're looking to bling Vermilion, that's also another factor. Drag Ritter Glue. Okay, Radlina, basically. This one has. This one is baffling me a little bit. Now, the triple rare from set 8 has gone up in value a few bucks, which I guess I could see that given that we got more glitter support in set 11. But the one from set 5, the grade 2, which is the real key card, this one has gone back up beyond $10. And it had, it's it been going back and forth on that front because it's been back down as far as six and now it's all the way back up here. If we look at the SP and FFR, the SP is $50 base and the FFR of the grade three is $32 base right now. In any case, the triple rare is what surprises me on this front. So if you're looking for Radlina, they are up in price right now. Alden, with set 12 coming out tomorrow, I had to cover this one. The SP has been falling back out in terms of its listings, but its market price is still lower than the $21 that its base listing is at. The triple rare, on the other hand, is up. Now it's a $15 card base, and the market price is $9.50. Let's take a look at the triple R's actual movement. Uh, 8, 7, someone did buy copies for 14. Sparsely, someone, yeah. We've had points where they would just sell out to the $15 mark and someone would buy, and I guess more copies just ended up on the market, and then now we're back to $15 base. So, yeah, 15 is not unusual for this to sell at from the way it looks, and with the new Bastion Accord coming out tomorrow, there's probably some more popularity going into that. Cardinal Draco Impero. This is something else I wanted to cover because it looks like some of the base versions are starting to rise a bit. If you take a look at the original rare from Brush with Legends, its market price is in the $4 range, but its base listing is 6 The cheapest version right now is actually the hollow foil from that same set, where the market price and the base listing are the reverse of the regular rare. Although, let's see how many copies are actually $4 here. Oh, there are actually a few. There are quite a few. So, that's interesting. Let me take a look at the rares movement. It's going back up and players have been buying it basically around the same price. So, and somewhat higher. So again, again, if you make sure you pay attention to your high rarities because that is where you could find more value in a lot of cases. Like the holofoil of this, the same one from set two, is currently a, is currently cheaper to pick up than the rare. So you're better off just picking up this one in that case. And it's also cheaper than the foil that you get out of the special reprint. The only difference there is that you won't get the flavor text on the set two holofoil. And then of course there's the SP, which has been bought out to the point of there's one listing for 75 and I won't lie, that is mine, but we've got $30, $40, and someone bought a copy for $60 the other day. So, yeah, there's only one listing left, four copies at 75 at this point. So if you've got more copies to put out, this would be a good time. It is selling. Drilling Angel's another one I want to point out. We've got some movement on the... Let's see, we've overall got movement on the hollow versions of this card. 
And the base versions, the promo and the rare from set three and the monthly packs. And then you've got the trial deck version for 25 cents. So you might as well pick up the trial deck one if you really want it cheap versus the rare or harder to get versions there. But if you want the hollow foils, that's a whole different story. The set three one is 850 base, market prices in the fours. And the foil version is $17 with five listings left and market prices is about nine. If we're looking at that one, someone did buy a pair of them for 15 and before that it sold for eight, all within the last week or two. So Drilling Angel is making moves right now, just keep that in mind. Stealth Dragon Skodachi is another one, and I know I'm really stretching the clock here. So, uh, let's see, we've got $9 on the base version, and there's only one listing left of the foil at 15 Market price on each of these is still respectively around $8. So this card is still up, and that's mostly due to Megalozuchi. Well, I've been talking about that every so often, but yeah, that's what it is. Witch of Moon Rabbit Rubinia. Main reason I wanted to call this one out is that the one of the promo versions is out of stock for some reason. I don't remember which promo this was, because this had every single variant of this card is a promo, and there are so, and this one is a foil. And the original one, I think this is the original one over here from the set two sneak peek. This one is a dollar right now and still has 13 listings. So I'm not too sure why this one in particular got bought out. Ah, I think I know why, because this one doesn't have flavor text, so it's more of a full art, I guess. But yeah, just keep just keep that in mind. There's still plenty of copies available, but if you want the non-flavor text one, it's gone right now. One who governs chaos. The foil is what I want to cover on this one because there are only two listings on this one. This is chaos support specifically, and it has been selling for about two dollars a piece recently. But its base listing is now five, and there are only two copies left on the market. So if you were looking for chaos, you're running low there. Judith, the perfect guard from set three, is high up in value for its FR right now. You have the Festival Collection reprint and the original rare from set 3, which are about $2.50 to $4. But if we take a look at the movements on the FR, nobody's bought anything for a while, and we only have $40 copies on this one. And market price-wise, it has been up in the last few... That's interesting. It's up in the last few days, and yet there's no data on actual sales. That's... I wonder how that works. Okay, I'm still going through a list here. Clear Shimmer Aura. Low low value on the original and the reprint of the Festival Collection, but you've got the FR right now that's still holding around $22, and the market price is still in line with that. Shutter Chance Ilse. This one is getting reprinted in set 13 as a box topper. Looks like they took out the full art aspect, though, which is a shame. Right now, the double R of this is $10, and the FR is currently around $16. As a reminder, it's Michu support, so if you play Michu and you're still looking for the FRs, they're a little lower than they were before, so not too bad, but the market prices are still... The market price for the FR is still lower than its base, while the market price of the double R is higher than the base. Then you've got Ophelia, who has also fallen out because Willista has just seems to have fallen out of popularity like Gondiva. The triple rare is now $18 base and $40 for the SP base as well. Then you've got Herminia with more of the, with more of the, not Bermuda, lyrical melody stuff coming in Japan for Halloween. Herminia is getting new support and it looks like the triple rare has dropped off and has a lot more listings now compared to how I said it was running out of copies and was like $6. Now it's more widely available, so it'll be much easier to pick up if you want. I would imagine you only need one copy at best. The SP is $18, and the LSR is about $215 right now. Sages from Festival Collection. I feel like I overlooked this one so many times just because I know it's just way too high all the time, but it's, get, it's getting higher and higher as we go. It's a $38 card for the Triple Rare and a $70 card right now for the FFR. And 
the sad part is that the market price is higher for the FFR right now at 83. The market price for the triple rare is a little bit lower at 36. Now the final card for today is Blue Death Star Haneda Halfway. With set 12, we've got Avagarda support coming out. And Halfway has been rising in value ever so slightly. We're now looking at $3 base for this card, and ha it has been selling for close to $4. So yeah, that's a thing to keep in mind. <laughs> and if we take a look at the FFR though, that one has not moved too much. This one has been holding in the 20s for quite a while and has stayed pretty stagnant, but it, has, it hasn't sold since September. And when it did, it was closer to $30 on sale, and then people did buy this for $35. But now you have listings as low as 23, 25, so there's availability on that. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys later.